Sleeping like a baby is the dream of most adults. But if you've ever been plagued by sleep troubles like me, tossing and turning at night, feeling exhausted every day, then this episode is for you. In this episode, we'll dive into the bad habits that sabotage our sleep and explore solutions. Hey there! Welcome to Social Insights. I'm Mind Lakeside. Our channel focuses on social skills, habit formation, storytelling, and dating tips. We update every Wednesday and Saturday, providing valuable social advice and tips. If you're new here, please subscribing and hitting the notification bell, so you won't miss any exciting videos. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. Sleep is crucial for our health. It's a simple yet challenging thing to get right. These habits we're about to discuss may seem insignificant, but they unknowingly sabotage our sleep. If you happen to have these habits, it's time to stop. 1. Excessive use of electronic devices. After a busy day, you might want to indulge yourself before bed by watching new videos on YouTube, scrolling through funny TikToks, or catching up on the latest game on your Switch. In this digital age, we can't live without electronic devices. However, excessive use of these devices negatively impacts our sleep. Research shows that blue light suppresses the secretion of melatonin, a hormone that regulates our sleep-wake cycle. When we use electronic devices at night, the exposure to blue light disrupts our sleep. It tricks our brain into thinking it's still daytime, inhibiting the signals that induce sleep. This is one of the main culprits behind our insomnia. Sound familiar? 2. Irregular Sleep Schedule Remember Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory? He had an extremely strict schedule that drove his roommates and friends crazy, providing us with lots of laughs. But did you know that our bodies and brains prefer a regular biological clock? An irregular sleep schedule prevents our bodies from establishing a stable sleep pattern and entering deep sleep and rapid eye movement REM, sleep. If we go to bed and wake up at different times every day, our internal clock gets disrupted, affecting the quality of our sleep. 3. Consumption of Stimulating Substances There was a time when I was a heavy coffee enthusiast. I would stay up with dark circles under my eyes, then drag myself out of bed, relying on caffeine to power through the busy day. You could say my daily productivity depended on how much caffeine I consumed. However, that wasn't an ideal way to live. I found that during that period, my sleep quality was terrible, dark circles increased, and I experienced more hair loss. It's a nightmare, right? And it's not just caffeine. Consuming caffeinated beverages like coffee, tea, and certain soft drinks, especially in the evening, can make it difficult to fall asleep and lead to shallow sleep. Similarly, alcohol and nicotine can disrupt our sleep cycles, making us more prone to awakenings and affecting deep sleep. 4. Lack of physical activity Sitting for long periods and not getting enough exercise is also a sleep killer. Physical activity promotes blood circulation, releases stress, and burns energy, all of which contribute to better sleep quality. When we lack physical activity, our bodies tend to remain inactive, unable to expend enough energy, and have difficulty entering deep sleep. 5. Sleep Unfriendly Environment Besides the aforementioned reasons, we also need to consider the environment we're in. After all, we can't escape our surroundings. Remember that business trip when you stayed in a hotel in a bustling city, and the constant noise of traffic kept you from getting a peaceful sleep? No matter how hard you tried to calm yourself down and quickly drift off, your brain just wouldn't cooperate. Bright lights in the bedroom, noisy street commotion, and even excessively high or low room temperatures can make it difficult for you to fall asleep. If you are struggling with sleep issues, it's important to immediately stop these bad habits. Now, let's provide you with some very useful suggestions. Before we continue, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please take a moment to tap the bottom right corner of the screen and enable the bell icon. This way, you won't miss any of our exciting videos. Okay, let's continue our journey to better sleep. First, if you're accustomed to using various electronic devices before bedtime, here are some strategies you can adopt. 1. Set a time limit for electronic device use. 
try to avoid using electronic devices one to two hours before bedtime. Allow your brain to gradually prepare for sleep. 2. Use blue light blocking glasses. These glasses can reduce the impact of blue light, making it easier for us to fall asleep. This is a simple yet effective method, especially for those who can't avoid using electronic devices at night. 3. Keep devices away from your bed. Placing your phone, tablet, and other devices away from your bed can reduce their temptation and interference. Second, if your daily routine lacks regularity, please consider the following advice. 1. Establish consistent sleep and wake times. Try to maintain a consistent sleep schedule, whether it's weekdays or weekends. This helps your body and brain gradually adapt to a specific sleep pattern. 2. Create a relaxing bedtime routine. Cultivate relaxing habits, such as reading, listening to gentle music, or taking a warm bath during the hour before sleep. This helps your body and brain enter a sleep-ready state. 3. If you need to nap, try to limit it to 15 to 30 minutes and avoid napping too late in the evening or night. Establishing a regular sleep schedule allows our bodies to better adjust to the natural sleep-wake cycle, thus improving the quality and quantity of sleep. Third, if you, like me, were once heavily dependent on caffeine, tea, or tobacco, it's important to understand that these substances can affect our sleep quality to varying degrees. It's recommended to limit caffeine intake, especially in the afternoon and evening. Meanwhile, quitting smoking is a wise choice, but if you're unable to quit immediately, try to avoid smoking before bed. Fourth, if you're a homebody and don't enjoy exercising, please consider the following advice. 1. Engage in moderate aerobic exercise daily. Aim for 30 minutes of aerobic exercise such as brisk walking, running, or swimming each day. This can elevate your heart rate and improve cardiovascular fitness. However, avoid intense exercise 2-3 to three hours before bedtime to prevent excessive stimulation. 2. Incorporate regular stretching and relaxation exercises such as yoga or pilates. These activities help relieve physical tension and stress, promote relaxation of the body and mind, and prepare you for better sleep. 3. In addition to dedicated exercise time, increase your daily physical activity. For example, opt for walking or cycling instead of taking the elevator or car, or choose a standing desk. These are simple ways to increase your overall activity level. Last but not least, if your surrounding environment makes it difficult for you to fall asleep, consider the following measures. 1. Maintain a comfortable room temperature and good ventilation to create a sleep-friendly environment. Adjust the air conditioning or humidifier based on personal preferences and the season to ensure the room temperature and humidity are suitable. 2. Reduce noise levels. Use earplugs or white noise machines to block out noise or improve room insulation to reduce external noise interference. 3. Manage lighting conditions. Use curtains or blackout blinds to block out bright light and ensure a dim and comfortable sleep environment. 4. Create a comfortable sleeping surface. Choose a mattress and pillows that suit your needs and provide adequate support and comfort. Keep bedding clean and tidy to create a pleasant sleep space for yourself. Oh, friends, after listening to these pieces of advice, are you feeling a bit sleepy already? Let's put aside our work and enter into sweet dreams quickly. This is Social Insights, an old friend who focuses on social skills, habit formation, storytelling, and dating tips. Before we end today's show, let me offer you the warmest wishes. Have a good night, sleep like a baby. Good night, my friends.